They've waited almost three decades to see criminal charges brought over Hillsborough. Just before the news was made public, the families were told in a private meeting that six people are being prosecuted. A huge step forward after years of campaigning for Margaret Aspinall, who lost her son James in the disaster and chairs the Hillsborough Family Support Group. It's about all of these families, 28 years they've had of torture really, it's been hell on earth and they need an end to this and now this hopefully, this is definitely the start of the end. I think everybody needs that, I think we all need peace from Hillsborough but we can never have peace until we've got truth, justice, accountability. Hillsborough claimed the lives of 96 men, women and children. The youngest victim was 10 years old, the eldest 67. A coroner's inquest decided last year that the 96 were unlawfully killed, but that was separate to ongoing police investigations, which have led the CPS to today's announcement. Following these thorough investigations and our careful review of the evidence in accordance with the Code for Crown Prosecutors, I have decided that there is sufficient evidence to charge six individuals with criminal offences. Former Chief Superintendent David Duckenfield on the right here was match commander at Hillsborough. He's charged with manslaughter by gross negligence for allegedly failing to monitor and assess the risk to spectators and prevent crushing in the crowd. He's charged on 95 deaths because the 96th victim, Tony Bland, died in hospital almost four years after the disaster, outside the legal time frame. Norman Bettison, a former chief constable, is charged with misconduct in public office for alleged lies he told about his involvement in the aftermath of Hillsborough and the culpability of fans. Yeah. Peter Metcalf, a solicitor for South Yorkshire Police during the initial hearings, is charged with intending to pervert the course of justice over alleged changes made to witness statements. There was no comment from former Chief Superintendent Donald Denton or former Detective Chief Inspector Alan Foster today, both charged over their alleged involvement in changing statements. I'm really sorry. I, I'm afraid I can't speak to you for legal reasons. And Graham McCrell, seen here in 1989, Sheffield Wednesday's former company secretary, is charged with breaching the Sports Ground Safety Act and Health and Safety Act. Today took its toll on the emotions for people like Mary Corrigan, whose 17-year-old son Keith died at Hillsborough. Why has it taken this long? All she care is, well, we've wasted for somebody else to do this and we wait for someone else. And I think it's absolutely disgusting for this length of time. The pain doesn't go away, it doesn't make it any easier. You still live with that pain every day. I'd love my son to put his key in the door and walk back in, but it's not going to happen. The path's begun. You've just got to follow it. Hold our heads up high like we've done for 28 years and keep going. And hopefully we'll get there. Steve Fox was 21 when he was killed in the crush at Hillsborough. His mum Brenda attended every day of the inquests and is planning to be at court for the new criminal hearings. The long inquest gave us the truth and hopefully today will give us justice and hopefully our loved ones can rest in peace at last. And all those that's been affected so badly by this tragedy, I hope they will see this as their justice too. The families of the 96 have seen this story twist and turn through the decades and are now preparing themselves for the new chapter in a criminal court.